Hello everyone. It's been a lot of stuff going on in the world and the news. Poor and minorities have been prosecuted all over the world. It seems that we live in a feudal or a caste society instead of a modern or a civilized society. There's wars, drone strikes, everything going on all around the world, ISIS, American aggression, Russian aggression, Chinese aggression. But we live in a population in the world of the many, not the few. It's over 6.6 .6 billion people in the world. A majority of them, poor, working class, some that accept the current system, others that do not. But I ask, why are we fighting? Why do we live in a technologically advanced society? Yet, some people have no access to running water, electronics, the basic necessities of life. We have people here in America starving, homeless. We have people all over the world, homeless, starving, just to survive. When there's so much money, potential, resources, they can feed, take care of the whole population and more. I ask, why do we fight each other instead of coming together? Why do we let the government, the media, tear us apart instead of realizing that we all share a common ground? We all have things in common that we don't. Yeah, maybe different names, different scenarios, but we all have the same dreams. To start a family, to live comfortably, to travel the world, to not have to struggle day in and day out. But the majority of the world doesn't live like this. It's a small, small percentage out of over 6.6 .6 billion is probably 666,000 less than that that truly enjoy life while everyone else struggles. Why do we continue to let our government declare war on other countries? Instead of building up infrastructure, building up parks, schools, trying to make the world a better place. Why do we continue to let them destroy it and say it's not our place? We are the people. The government is supposed to work with us. It's supposed to serve us. They say they serve our interests and the basis of national security or national defense but they truly only serve their own interests they don't serve ours and we know that they don't serve ours yet we blindly follow we blindly live our day-to-day -day lives as protests riots change of governments happen all across the united states and the world if the world was to be destroyed tomorrow by World War III or nuclear warheads. Did we fight the change? Or did we sit idly by and let the corrupt people in charge lead us blindly to our deaths? Would you walk over a cliff because the government told you to? It seems like it every day.